This is the shape I want to cut out of steel. It's a hook for harvesting basket willows with. I made a few out of cardboard first till I found the shape I wanted. It has to be sharp and to hold an edge, but I don't have any special tool steel, so I'm experimenting. First, I'm cutting it out of an old hand saw. Doesn't everyone have one or two of these hanging around? They have tip hardened teeth, which means they're really sharp for a while, but it, you can't really re-sharpen them. So sooner or later, they become rusty and useless. Of course, you don't need a fancy plasma cutter for this. You could use a grinder to cut out the sheep. The saw needed weighing down. And in fact, it moved slightly while I was cutting and the earth clamp got tangled up. So next time I'll do a better job. But still, it cut out the shape fine. And I cut a second one out of one and a half millimeter mild steel just so I could compare how they hold their edge. That's not as silly as it sounds because the plasma cutter hardens the edge as it cuts. I'm making a bevel on just one side on my bench sander. Coarse grit first, then medium. I don't have any finer grit belts for this machine. Both versions sharpened well, but the saw blade is thinner, so it's easier to use and it stayed sharp much longer. Usually we use secateurs, but they are quite tricky to sharpen and hard on your hand if you have a lot to do. Now you can see why it's this shape, somewhere to grip it and control it and long enough to reach down to the willow crown between the wands. It could be shorter, but then you'd need to bend down further and that's not much fun if you have a large field to harvest. Sandra Kay and I had a race. She was using a pair of secateurs. I won, but to be fair, her secateurs weren't the best. I found that some fine wet and dry paper over a pipe puts a wicked edge on it easily. And I added wooden sides to the handle part which made it much more comfortable to use. I'm pleased with the design and it was quick and easy to make. It works. So I'll keep a lookout for more old blades and make more for next year. And it cuts poplar slips too. If you're interested in the actual willow growing experiment that we're doing, have a look at our other channel. I'll put up a video about that soon on there.